So, if you're thinking about moving to Nisswa, Minnesota, this channel is all about living in the Brainerd Lakes area. Moving to and relocating to the Lakes area. We cover all the surrounding communities that make up the Lakes area in central Minnesota. So make sure you subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications. That way you can be the first to learn all about the current market here in Brainerd Lakes area. My name is Noah Getker. I'm a real estate agent with EXP Real. I get calls, text, emails from people just like you looking to make their move. And I absolutely love it. So whether you're moving next week or next year, feel free to give me a call, shoot a text, send an email. I'd love to help you make your move to the lakes area. Smooth sailing. Now, Nisswa can be considered a bedroom community of Brainerd, the growing county seat. And as of the 2020 census, over 2,000 people consider Nisswa to be their primary residence. Surrounded by lakes, Nisswa is part of the Brainerd Lakes area. Along Highway 371, the main route in Nisswa, plenty of natural resources, numerous lakes, the eclectic downtown, many second homeowners, cabin owners. Nisswa is seeing, just like other communities in the lakes area, a transition from primarily seasonal homes and cabins to year-round homes. And I'm excited to show you the many amazing things that make this town so gr such a great place to live and just all the things that it has to offer. So let's get after it. Now, let's talk about the town itself. Nisswa has a charming downtown area that's filled with unique shops, restaurants, attractions, from boutique clothing stores to art galleries. It's really something for everyone here. Uh, it's really different than any downtown you can think of. Um, of course, don't forget about those famous turtle races that happen every Wednesday during the summer months. Downtown shopping in Nisswa is pretty good, of course, based on the popularity of it. It must be more than just pretty good. The uh, downtown boasts over 50 retail shops and storefronts, quaint shops. You know, you can grab sweets from the Chocolate Ox. Uh, so many great shops. Um, you know, and of course, got the, uh, uh, the Nisswa Farmer's Market. Don't forget about that in the summertime. It's uh, really a great place to find fresh, locally grown produce, homemade baked goods and crafts. It's uh, definitely a great way to support local farmers and artisans while getting out to know, getting out into the community and getting to know your neighbors and um, also people just coming up for the summer to enjoy. So, um yeah, you come here right now, it's, of course, early spring, there's still tons of snow, so it's a little quiet, but come summertime, this place will be hopping, especially on, on the weekends, but there is a lot, you'll see tons of families, uh, a lot of kids, too, that are uh, with their families, of course, uh, just touring around town, there's so many, so many activities that uh, there's no shortage of, of things to do here, Short, no shortage of of shops um, and as I've mentioned different whole bunch of different activities going on as well and, and it seems to always be some shops that are you know closing down you know this one's closed for the winter and we'll see if they're open back up for the summer but there's always really unique new shops opening up in downtown Nisswa so I, mean, I remember coming here as a kid and it's really changed quite a bit since then even but uh it still has that same quaint uh, kind of uh, eccentric feel to it. It's, it's uh, very unique um, and it's even a better, it's a great place to visit and an even better place to, to live. So, because you're, you've got this small town feel and then you got the highway right there that's, um, that you can hop onto, head down 12 minutes or so by car down to Brainerd Baxter to get to, you know, Costco, Target, all of the uh, kind of the large box stores, Home Depot, that kind of stuff. So but here in downtown Nisswa, it's all about the small, unique paint shops that you're not gonna, you won't be able to experience anything else like it anywhere else. So come on down to downtown Nisswa. But Nisswa is not just about the lakes. Nisswa is also home to the Paul Bunyan Trail, a 120 mile tr paved trail that winds through some of Minnesota's most scenic areas. Whether you love biking, hiking, or just taking a leisurely stroll, the 
Paul Bunyan Trail is a must visit destination. Nisswa Lake Park, which is on the west side of Highway 371, with a tunnel connecting to downtown Nisswa on the east side of the highway, has walking paths, pavilion benches, and tables, and public access to Nisswa Lake. There, there are docks there that, you can, that way you can visit downtown Nisswa by boat from anywhere on the Gull Lake chain. And if you're a golf enthusiast, Nisswa is a perfect place for you. The town is home to some of the best golf courses in the state, offering a picturesque setting and a challenging game for players of all levels. And one of the most popular courses in town is uh, the Pines at Grandview Lodge. This course has been rated one of the best in the state and for good reason. It offers a challenging game with beautiful views of the surrounding lakes and forests. And golfing, is a popular pastime for residents and visitors alike. And there's a plenty of events and tournaments throughout the year that bring the community together. It's really a great way to enjoy the outdoors and spend time with family and friends and actually about 400 golf holes in the Brainerd Lakes area with Nisswa being the heart of golfing in the Lakes area. In fact, Nisswa wants the best small town in Minnesota. It's a town with great community connection, a hub of activity. There are events all year round going on. Uh, there's probably more events in Minnesota than any other small town. It includes the ice fishing extravaganza, music festivals, art exhibits, classic wood boat shows. Don't forget the turtle races. And also the, uh, we've got a Boston Marathon qualifier um, uh, marathon that happens here every year. So. So many more events, uh, you'll just have to keep watching. Again, subscribe to the channel, find out all the happenings here in Nisswa. All right, so let's talk about location. So Nisswa is located in the heart of Minnesota's beautiful lake country. We're just a short drive away from some of the state's most popular lakes, like Gull Lake and Pelican Lake. So if you love boating, fishing, or just spending time on the water, Nisswa is definitely the place for you. So, Gull Lake Chain is made up of numerous lakes at over 13,000 acres and about 93 miles of shoreline. This chain of lakes is one of the most popular, not just in the lakes area, but all of Minnesota for that matter. And in all seasons, from fishing and water activities in the summer to ice fishing, snowmobiling in the winter months. Then there are Cullen Lakes, Lake Hubert, Twin Lakes, Round Lake, Lake Edna, Clark Lake. In fact, close to half of the city of Nisswa is covered in water. That's Quite amazing. So if you're interested in history, you'll want to visit the Nisswa Pioneer Village. This living history museum is dedicated to preserving the heritage of the area's early settlers. You can learn, you know, there's the historic buildings that demonstrate uh, what it was like to live in Minnesota well over a hundred years ago. So this is a pretty cool place. All these little buildings here, old buildings here that uh, preserve history and it's, it's just right up the road on Main Street, just to the northwest of, of downtown Nisswa. So um, they are, of course, closed right now, still for the season, but uh, come in the summertime and check it out. It's a pretty cool experience and um, you will not be disappointed. All right, let's not forget about the quality of life here in Nisswa, Minnesota. It's a safe, family-friendly town with excellent schools. Uh, it's actually part of the Brainerd School District. Plenty of outdoor opportunities, great place for raising a family or enjoying retirement. Just, just a great place to call home. If you're considering a move to Nisswa, you'll be happy to know that there are many great real estate options available here. From cozy cottages to sprawling lakeside homes, there is definitely something to suit every taste and budget. And the median uh, home sale price for off-water properties is about $350,000. And for on-water, it'd be about $820,000. Um, and as your local real estate expert in the Brainerd Lakes area, I can absolutely help you, uh, guide you into that perfect home just for you and the wonderful community of Missoula, Minnesota. You will not be disappointed. Well, overall, I hope this video has given you some insight to what it's like to live in Nisswa, Minnesota. If you're looking for a small town with a big heart, then I think Nisswa might be a perfect fit just for you. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. 
and leave them. Let me know what kind of information you'd like me to cover in future posts. Again, whether you're moving next week or next year, feel free to give me a call, shoot a text, send an email. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, for more content just like this. So thanks for watching. Until next time, I hope to show you around town. Bye.